What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 13. In the previous episode we continued on through Pal and Polem with Snow and Hope. And now we're with Lightning and Fang. Let's continue on through this area. I go this way actually. So soon we'll be able to get a new weapon for Fang and a new weapon for Lightning as well coming up. Alright, another Orion up ahead. Let's take it out. Yeah, make sure to get slow on those guys before you start taking them out. Slow is very effective on those things. Okay, there's a item down there we'll grab. I would say that, I would say that uh, slow and poison are the best two debuffs in the game. Slow is like very good. Almost missed the chest. And then we get a new weapon for Fang. It has improved counter. So that's good if she switches to Sentinel. I'm not going to equip it though because it has lower stats. Now we got a Behemoth up ahead. We're going to go Saboteur and Ravager in this fight. And we want to get slow on it, of course. The Lodestar Behemoth. If I'm not mistaken, this thing transforms into like a large behemoth, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. If you don't defeat it in time, or something like that, I don't know. Wow. Get up, lightning. Yeah, see, it's going into a bigger behemoth because I didn't defeat it in time. I need to get uh, slow on it again. It put haste on itself. And lightning died again. Fantastic. Okay, I might be immune to slow then. yourself lightning hurry ouch yeah, that wind attack does a ton of damage come on it's almost down finish it off I got five stars, but wow. I could have did a lot better in that fight, obviously. Yeah, you'll fight several of those behemoths in the game where they like... When you get them down low on hit points, they... Basically rise up. Or whatever. They like stand up. Let's 
So your goal is to defeat them before they do that, but it's very hard to do. Now you can also stagger them before they do that, but that's hard to do as well because they have such a high stagger. Alright, two more of these things. Nice, got five stars in that battle, got two superconductors, nice. So they both drop one, that means. And here we get the almighty axis blade for lightning. So it has attack ATB charge, that is insanely good. Uh, you may be wondering, as lower strength, why equip it? Because of that ATB charge. Fairly slightly recharges ATB gauge each time an enemy is attacked. So every time lightning attacks, her gauge will slightly go up. So basically she can get her turn faster, she can get her attacks in faster. If you combine that with haste, that is a very good combo. Yeah, you don't want to pass that Axis Blade. That's one of Lightning's best weapons in the game. I'm actually going to be upgrading that weapon as soon as we get to a place where I can do that. Right here is where I can do it. So let's see here. So, 72 of these should give the three star bonus. Yep. Now I need to give her. And to give something that boosts by a lot, 5,000. Turbo jet to 762. Okay, here we go. Fiber optic cables are really good. 5,400 from those. Uh, superconductors are really good as well. Let me see if I can buy at the shop here. Okay, turbojet and passive detectors. Are the best to buy here. Alright, so I'm going to use superconductor, uh, superconductors because I can get more of those later. I, w I wanted to make sure I can get more of them later. Uh, before I use them. That's what I'm going to do now. How much do spark plugs do, actually? Oh, okay. Not enough. So I got level 4 there. Oh, but we can do better than that. I'm going to feed one at a time. So it gets back to three times. Always do one at a time because you never know how much it's going to take to do, get to three. 
We only do one at a time. So we get that three star rating. Or three times bonus, I mean. There we go, got the three times. So I can do the fiber optic cables. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go, got level seven. All right, so I got back to the three times bonus. Um, I basically just gave it uh, some more organic. Okay, I can give it some digital circuits. Okay, that'll get up to level nine. Uh, it maxes at level uh, 20. feed it too much stuff. Probably want to go buy some more materials actually. At the shop here. Um, yeah, passive detectors will work. Or turbo jets. So which does more? Turbo jets or passive detectors? They probably do about the same, I would say. Probably. Okay, turbo jets are better. So, I need to sell some stuff here. I'm going to get rid of these um, Libra scopes. And I'm also going to get rid of these incentive chips. And credit chips. And I'll buy some... Uh, Never sell weapons. I can sell some Deceptisols though. Since I have a ton of those. Alright, let's go ahead and dump this into the weapon. I could have bought more, but I think this will be enough. To get it up some levels. It's not going to max it out, but it will be enough to get... A lot of levels out of it. I think level uh, 14 will be good enough. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I don't need to max it out right now. Actually, no, we'll, we'll put her back on com Ravager. And you don't want to evolve the Axis Blade because it gets rid of the... It gets rid of that uh, ATB boost, I think. I don't quote me on that, though.
Oh, a tungsten bangle. Uh, one thing about upgrading weapons, though, it does take... It does make it harder to get five stars in some battles. I got a five star in that battle, but I didn't get a five star in the other battle. So, keep that in mind. I think it's still worth upgrading, though. Alright, treasure chest over here. Grab that. Alright, black belt. Nice. Yeah, we got a save point here as well. Okay, maxed out there. Ooh, a lot of hit points there. Okay, 400 more points and get Quake. Alright, we got another of these behemoths up, up ahead here. Let's get Saboteur and Ravager going. I don't know how on earth I got 5 stars in that battle. I did so bad in that battle. I don't even know. Alright, it's back again. Boss time against Ushmagal Subjugator. So, just want to survive in this fight. Alright, now we can fight it for real. Alright, so let's get whatever saboteur has. Need a saboteur to start. Get slow on it if I can. Don't know if it's immune to it or not. Use Libra on it. Get shell on everybody. And then Commander Ravager Ravager. Actually, I think we want to restart because that way we can change our paradigms. I think it'll let us. Um, so I can set my correct paradigms, yeah. And also spend points in the Crystarium for hope.
Because I don't know if he was maxed or not. Every bit of point will help. Especially getting that. And that. Alright, now we can set up paradigms correctly. So I'll do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I got my paradigm set up. I got a defensive one. Double commander and ravager. And this is the one I'm going to start with. And again, we'll get slow on it. We'll get protect and chill. Libra it. Gonna do as much damage as I can. We definitely want to kill it in two staggers if we can. Now let's go Commander, Commander, Ravager. This will slow down the stagger gauge quite a bit. If I could speak correctly, that'd be great. Right, let's skip the cutscenes. Alright, this isn't a cutscene.
Okay, make sure to grab this chest before you go in there. Now we're going to be in a good grinding spot up ahead here. After we skip a lot of cutscenes. I should be able to get enough money to max out Lightning's weapon here in this next part. Let's look around first before we continue on. I don't know if there's any treasures around here or not. I think there is. Two small figures visible in the photo seem to be Hope and his mother. Hope's father must have been at a distance when he took the picture. This would seem to be Apartments Master Control Terminal. It is of an elegant and modern design and looks expensive. Here, let me save it real quick. This appears to be the Estheim family portrait. A contented smile graces the face of Hope's father, but Hope himself seems to be in a sullen mood. Alright, let's go and activate this over here. And skip some cutscenes. And then we'll be in a good grinding spot. Uh, for money. And Crystarium points as well. But mainly money. Let's kill the scavenger first because they do a ton of damage. Yeah, let's heal up some here, hurry. Launch him into the air. Finish them off, hurry. Oh, I got two incentive chips, nice. And a Deceptisol, that's rare. Alright, now whatever you do, do not go to the that red over there. Because that will advance the storyline. This is a good grinding spot. You can save it here. And you can fight these enemies over and over again as long as you don't go to that red. And what you want to do now, since we're grinding now, this ain't part of the the story. I'm going to put it on easy. And this, this will make the enemies a lot easier. And here you'll be able to farm credit chips. And you have increased drop rate on easy.
I'm not sure if I want it on easy or not. I don't know if I need it on easy or... It depends on what the rare drop is. I don't know what the rare drop is. So I may put it back on normal. I don't know. We'll see what the rare drop is. Okay, so we need to go... Soldiers. Okay, the rares and chin and chin of chips. Yeah, okay, so we do need it on normal. That was a lot of damage, but it's alright. Should be able to stagger this thing before he does it again. There we go, got him. Okay, that was against scavengers and bombardiers. Let's see what they drop. I forgot. Okay, the bombardier, yeah, the rare drop. So we have to keep it on normal. In order to get the drops that I need, the incentive chips. Come back here and you can respawn them. There's also a chest we can get there too. Alright, so I'm gonna fight these enemies over and over again. Just get a bunch of a chin of incentive chips. And that'll be it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later. Yeah, and this chest has Brawler's wristband, uh, so you can equip that as well. That'll boost Fang's damage. Oh, and there's also a chest over here too. Uh, Ether Soul. And once you fight the enemies, you can save it. And you can just keep fighting them over and over again and hope to get incentive chips. So yeah, pretty easy grinding strategy. If you put it on easy, you can uh, get a bunch of Phoenix Downs, but... I think it's better to get the incentive chips. Because they sell for 2500 apiece.